نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقل رب زدني علما Honorable Ulama, respected brothers, mothers, sisters, beloved students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All praise is due to all Allah, the sustainer, nourisher, and cherisher of this universe. Peace, blessings, and salutations be upon our beloved master and leader, Nabi Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we look at the micro level or at the macro level, in any country you will find that there is a conflict and a war going on. The conflict is between Nur and Zulumat, between light of Islam and the darknesses of other cults and civilizations. All Mahdi Allah Jalla Wala introduces himself, Allahu Nuru Samawati Wal Ard. Almighty Allah is the effulgence in the heavens, in the earth, everywhere. The message of Mustafa Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is full of nur. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورُ وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ The Qur'an Kareem وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكُمْ نُورًا مُبِينًا That we have revealed to you the Qur'an Kareem which is nur, which makes things so manifest and clear. O oh Muslim, O oh Muslima, brothers, sisters, who are you and me? Afaman sharah Allah sadrahu al-Islam fahu ala nurim mi Rabbi. We are the ones, the barriers and the carriers of the nur, effulgence and light. So what is the challenge that we are facing? The challenge we are facing is this, imbibe, acquire the nur and effulgence and then Disseminate it and convey and propagate it. Today our ulama have graduated. We say Alhamdulillah. To you my honorable mothers, we say Tazakumullah khaira. For you it's a special day for the grandmother, for the mother. You know how much sacrifice you made. And all Mahdi Allah Jalla Wala will reward you in this world and the year after. We thank the fathers already in the masjid. However, my message to you is threefold. Number one, I am so happy that first time I come to Sri Lanka and I heard that the Jamiyat Ulama here, that they have approximately 6,000 or more Ulama, Imams, Ufas, all under one body. You must remember this does not happen. It does not happen in South Africa. It does not happen in most countries. The onus and responsibility is upon you to maintain and sustain that. The shaitan will always come. Why should we have one organization? Let us make fragmentation. I want to be the Amir. I want to be the President. I want to be the Chairman. Kullu hizbim farihun. In that way, we are weakening Islam or Muslims, let me rather say, northern Islam. We weaken ourselves, so always strive for the unity, maintain and retain the unity. We can have difference of opinion. When we look at the ulama, they differed for the sake of truth, but they did not differ in truth. And they had the respect for one another. And you study the Sahaba, it is the occasion of Hajj. Mustafa Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Mina Arafat Muzdalifah performed two rakat salat. Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu performed two rakat. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu performed two rakat. The incident in Bukhari Sharif. Time of Sayyidina Usman radiallahu anhu he performed four rakat. Some Sahaba came and said Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shaykhain radiallahu anhu ma Sayyidina Abu Bakr Sayyidina Umar performed two. Why are you performing four? Someone told Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anh, make your own jamaat. He said that is a shaddu min dhali, is worse than that. So we will read the four akas behind Sayyidina Usman, although my heart says that we should rather read two. So imagine the, the, the fiqh and the jurisprudence and the magnanimity of hearts. 
देखो इन उर्दू वे व वंडरफुल सेइंग जिसका जर्फ बड़ा हो अल्लाह इनको बड़ा बना देता है इफ यू कीप अ मैग्नेनिमस हार्ट ऑल मैक्स अल्लाह विल एलिवेट अस दैट इज पॉइंट नंबर 1 दे ऑलवेज स्ट्राइव फॉर द यूनिटी एंड आई मेंशन इट इन यस्टरडे जुमा दैट रिमेंबर फॉर यूनिटी देयर आर टू इंग्रेडिएंट्स दैट आर वाइटल यूनिटी कैन ओनली हैपन ऑन हक एंड नॉट ऑन बातिल and second if you want the unity then you must have the tawadu you must have the quality of humility second thing is for you mothers and sisters you can play a very very great role you should just look at the books of the past and see the contribution of females towards islam who was one of the first people to embrace islam sayyida khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala You know in Bukhari Sharif when Sayyida Aisha radhiyallahu anha made some comments of Sayyida Khadija radhiyallahu anha what did Mustafa Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam say innaha kanat wa kanat oh Aisha you are my beloved but i can never forget the contribution of Sayyida Khadija radhiyallahu anha when people rejected me she embraced my message when no one was prepared to give financial assistance she gave all her wealth she is the mother of my children when hazrat alama binturi rahimahullah used to teach bukhari sharif when he used to teach abu daud sharif day in daber then he used to say innahu kan wa kan referring to his beloved teacher alama anwar shah kashmiri rahimahullah so we must understand you have a great role to play my mothers and sisters and what is that Sayyida Aisha radhiyallahu anha the reporter of 2210 ahadis as a mother al umm wal madrasatu al ula the first madrasa is not the madrasa you go to the darul ulum the maktab you go to no the first madrasa is the lap of the mother so you as a mother ask yourself I speak on the radio and inshallah I want all of you brothers and sisters of Sri Lanka this Friday coming 22nd of November the link is there on the screen I will be speaking of my trip to Sri Lanka and Maldives inshallah on Friday between 2 and half past 2 inshallah Friday 22nd of November South African time 2 to half past 2 so your time inshallah it will be around half past 5 to 6 o'clock and inshallah i urge you appeal to you listen to the message we give to the whole world yesterday after juma when we finished and so forth i came out one brother came and said mufti i listen to you every day this is the beauty of the deen of islam we say something and it touches somebody's heart in a different country it touches somebody's heart in some continent <coughs> subhanallah people contact us via email via telephone because we speak in the english language i told you yesterday use the language for propagation and not for our pride and arrogance as mufti sahab rightly mentioned so you my sister this is your responsibility they create the environment they in your house and you will see how your children inshallah your great children will become the torch bearers of islam in your country in other countries as well the third thing i want to mention and that is remember we have so many madrasas so many darul ulum so many students but all might allah only chooses few people to do this work so daily ulama daily mothers and sisters beg all night allah whether it's in the darkness of the night the hajjud time to 3 in the morning or after maghrib or after isha say allah maj'alni min al maqbuli o all night allah make me from those who are accepted and inshallah we will see it's not us it is all night allah i'm 13 years now with channel islam international Everybody knows that AK knows nothing about the radio. I don't even know how to switch on the computer. They have I don't know what what gadgets there. I the people ask me I say, "Wait, you asking the wrong person." I don't understand this thing. I only know one thing: 
I must go into the studio and they tell me, start speaking, I must speak. That's all. Or the light will come on, start speaking. Or I will go and record the program if I'm going overseas or somewhere. So you don't have to be a master in every field. But you should try to be a master in certain fields. And in that way, inshallah, beg all men to Allah, Jalla wa Allah, that Ya Allah, this message which I imbibe, let me convey it and propagate it to all. And that is our function, our duty. So again, we remind you, remind ourselves, that we have started the Darulu Madrasa, and mashallah, all Allah will take it to greater heights. All Allah reward the principal, the teachers, the trustees, the management, and to you, the mothers and sisters, that you have done this great sacrifice that today more than 30 of our daughters and sisters are graduating, seven of our brothers are graduating. It is without a shadow of doubt. This day will be written in the history of Sri Lanka that there was a day in the month of Muharram 1435 that it changed so many things. One student is inspired. He saw the Pulama graduating, saw the sisters graduating, and the spark came in his or her heart. Ya Allah, I also want to become a Hafiz. I also want to become an Ali. I also want to serve the Deen of Allah. So remember, the hearts are in the control of all Allah, Jalla wa Allah. Remember, the challenges are many. One side, you have the manners of the Qadianis. You have the manners of the Shias. You have the manners of the Orientalists. You have the manners of the Modernists. So many challenges. But only Allah will protect His deen. And Allah will use certain Rijal and certain Nisa. Certain men, certain women. So may Almighty Allah make us from those people who will defend the deen of Islam without fear and favor. So may Almighty Allah accept us all, accept our institution and all those who have passed away. And in some way or another they were connected to this institution. Almighty Allah grant them all genital for those. And may Almighty Allah make us from those that we become. Hadi and Mahadiya, that we can illuminate others. I leave you with this thought. MashaAllah, your Sri Lanka, Colombo is such that it is here, few meters, I don't know if it's kilometers, away from the ocean. So ask yourself, my dear brothers, sisters, what do you want to be? Look at your ocean. For Amma Zabadu, for Yadhabu Jufa'a. Is for the bubble and the form that is there on top. That is a symbol of falsehood. I'm born in South Africa. My parents were born in South Africa. We had the apartheid regime. White is right. You know what happened to socialism, communism. So they were the bubbles. They came up, they ruled, and now they are thrown to the scripts of history. Don't become the bubble. Don't become the form. Don't become a representative for any batil or anything that is false. Oh, Ummati Muslim, brothers, sisters, children of Sri Lanka, become the water that is beneath the form and the, uh, the bubble. Take this Islam to the masses. I in South Africa always say we have failed to be a people and a masses. We are there for more than 350 years as Muslims. But still today we are sitting at 2-3% of the total population. So that is an indictment upon us. So you my brothers, you know your history better than me of Sri Lanka. How much have we taken Islam to the masses? So when you look in your ocean, ask yourself, must I become the bubble or must I become the water? Take the water of Islam and quench the thirst of humanity. May Almighty Allah Jalla wa Allah use us for his deed. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah.